my life before Christ was nothing short of being wicked, vile, and depressing. From 2016 to 2018, I was in an abusive relationship, and I was constantly depressed and angry. I didn't understand how God could allow me to go through something so horrific until I heard the gospel and had a real understanding of what it meant to believe in the gospel. I watched a movie called Snatch from the Flames by Wretched Radio. This movie was all about false teachers, music, and doctrine. Many of those teachers, my husband Derek and I used to watch. After looking for a biblically sound church for several months, we finally found Cornerstone. Within three months, the gospel made sense completely after hearing a sermon by Pastor Mark. Pastor Mark's sermon was on the five solas. The five solas mean that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, according to scripture alone, for the glory of God alone. For me, this was the knockout punch that made me understand the gospel. And what I mean by that is, in order for us to have the good news, we must first know the bad news, mm -hmm. which is that we are all sinners in need of a savior. Sin means that we've done things that fall short of being perfect, unlike our holy God who is perfect. Due to our sin, we must be punished, and that punishment for sin is death. We must be punished because God is perfect, holy, and just, and we were created to worship Him. Because of sin, we are separated from God, and He is our source of life. In order to go to heaven, we have to be perfect, but we are not. We cannot go to heaven because we have sinned. In order to go to heaven, sins have to be paid for. The law established that in order for sin to be cleansed or taken away, there needed to be the shedding of blood. God gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for the sins of his people. He was handed over to die because of our sins, and he was raised to life to make us right with God. Romans 4.25 Jesus conquered sin and death, and the fact that he offers to share the victory with those who repent, turn from their sin, and trust in him alone is the greatest news of all. Amen. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you also will live. John 14.19 Jesus died on the cross for me and my sins. He paid my fine and made me alive in Him. And He in me, so that I can honor, glorify, and tell His gospel in the hopes that you will turn and repent of your sins and trust in Christ. My life since walking with Christ has changed drastically. The Lord has called us out of the darkness into marvelous light, 1 Peter 2, 9. Walking in the light of the Lord, I see his joy in my brothers and sisters' faces at the church. I see his love in the things we as Christians are called to do. And I see the need to be a slave for Christ. For my, lo my life is no longer my own, but Christ. I find joy in helping others rather than being selfish. And I find peace in knowing God is my ultimate comforter. I have learned to have patience, to think before I speak, to listen to my God-given conscience, and to trust in God alone. I thank God for saving me and turning me from a wretched, awful life of sin to someone who can glory in all of, in all of all the beauty God has. I praise him and thank him for the family I have at this church. And this is God's plan. Both Gentiles and Jews who believe the good news share equally in the riches inherited by God's children. Both are part of the same body and both enjoy the promise of blessings because they belong to Jesus Christ. Ephesians 3.6 All love, honor, and glory to God alone. Uh, like Pastor Dale says, uh, the drive to a good church is never too long. Amen. The journey to a good church is never too far. We're really grateful to have uh, uh, Derek and Summer with us all the way from Melbourne. It's just a testimony that uh, if not a good church, Lord, true worship is a blessing that we should cherish and treasure. And um, we've got folks driving from the west side, driving from the east side, coming from Melbourne. Um, we're grateful to the Lord for that testimony. So, Amen. Grateful that they're here. Enjoy the Bible baptized summer. So, uh, Summer, based upon your profession of faith, I'm really grateful to hear Summer's testimony. Uh, based upon your desire to serve Christ as a member of Cornerstone Baptist Church, we baptize Summer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in death, raised to walk in newness of life. Amen. Amen.